The following loop was made using only a tripod. I use a 24mm lens, aperture on T2. ISO as low as possible, shutter speed depends, for me it was 1 40th of a second. First I frame and mark my end point, and then my starting point. I recommend starting close up and then going further and further back. To make sure I move in a straight line and each photo has the same spacing, I marked every centimeter on the floor. One photo is taken for every centimeter. The loop also has a downward movement. On this tripod I have to turn the wheel nine times to get from the top to the bottom. We have a distance of 110 centimeters. If you divide that by nine, you get about 12. That means I shoot 12 photos per wheel rotation. This is easy to remember as you can turn the wheel as if it were the hour hand of a clock. We also have a tilt movement. This is easy because every time I move the camera back and down, I readjust the image with the tilt axis so that the watch is always in the center. And of course, don't forget to readjust the focus for each photo. After editing the photos in Lightroom and without further adjustments, the sequence looks like this. To make it smoother, first nest the sequence, then apply 5% of warp stabilizer. Nest again and track the center of the image, which in this case is the center of the watch. I do this by creating two white color maps and adjusting their scale to become lines, one vertical and one horizontal line, which cross at the center of the image. I use this as a reference while tracking. Once you're done, nest again and crop in a little to get rid of any black lines at the edges. Our sequence looks already much smoother. Now we need some dynamic time remapping. Open up After Effects, and by the way you can do the same in Premiere, but only in After Effects you get this beautiful motion blur when speeding up your footage. Right click, time, enable time remapping. This creates two keyframes. Drag the second one close to the first one. This speeds up the clip. Now open the graph editor, right click on the first keyframe, keyframe assistant, ease out. Right click on the second keyframe, keyframe assistant, ease in. This smooths out the transition from normal speed to increased speed. Now the best part, force motion blur. Apply this effect to the clip and increase the motion blur samples to at least 20. When I pause here, you can see what the effect does. Back to Premiere, I copy the first frame four times because I don't have enough frames to see the watch properly. This of course looks like a mistake. To make this look better, nest the sequence, scale it 280 at the beginning, go nearly to the end of the video, add another keyframe with the original size and of course make them smooth in and out. Now that I think about it, we could have done this in After Effects to increase the motion blur effect even more, but whatever, it looks good. Now there's only one thing left to do. Copy the nested sequence, Command or Control R, reverse speed and copy the two clips a few times to create the final loop. That's it. I hope you learned as much as I did and thanks for watching.